In this question, we're given a regular six-sided figure, or hexagon, attached to a regular five-sided figure, or pentagon, and asked to find the values of x and y. Well, if these are regular shapes, then we know that the sides will all be equal, so that side would equal that side, etc. And then, of course, since they're attached and the sides are attached, then this side would equal this side would equal this side would equal this side. We'd also know that the angles, the interior angles, would also be equal. So if this was x, then this one would be x, and x, and x, etc. And for the pentagon, all the interior angles would equal. I'll just say that they're a dot. So that would equal that angle, etc., all the way around. So let's start by finding the value for x. There is a formula that we can use to find the sum of the interior angles of a regular shape, and it's given by this, 180 times n minus 2, where n equals the number of sides. So for the hexagon, there's six sides. Therefore, the sum of the interior angles would be given by 180 6 minus 2, or 180 times 4, which equals 720 degrees. And that is the total for all of the x angles added together. So if we wanted to just find x, what we would say here is that all six x's together add up to 720 degrees. Therefore, x divided by 6, then divide 720 by 6, so x would equal 120 degrees. So we can say that x is 120, and our justification would be this formula progression here. So next we have to find y, but we notice that y is not an interior angle, it's an exterior angle, but it's it with x and with the dot here makes up a complete revolution. And we know that all the center angles, say, of a circle add up to 360 degrees. So we can say that the dot plus y plus x add up to 360 degrees. Now we already know what x is, that's 120, and I can find the dot because it's an interior angle of this regular um, pentagon, so we can use the same formula to find its value. But I'm going to show you another way too that we can do it. Let's say that we forgot about the formula 180 times n minus 2. What you can do is pick any vertex here and find out how many triangles are inside this pentagon. And I could, if I went from this one here, I can draw one, another shape here, a line, and what I can do is say that there are one, two, three triangles that make up this regular pentagon. Now we know that each of the triangles has a sum of 180 degrees, so what I can say is that there are three times 180 degrees available to me as the interior, some of the interior angles of this particular shape. So the sum of the interior angles of the pentagon is 540 degrees, and also we remember that pentagon has five sides, so we could divide this by five, and we'd end up with a value of 108 degrees. Now you can quickly see that if we did use this formula, we've got five sides here, we could, n would be five, minus two is three, three times 180 is 540, divided by the number of sides gives us 108. So let's find out what y would equal. So we've got the dot plus y plus x equals 360, which is the center angles of a circle. We know that the dot is 108. We're trying to find y, and we know that x is 120 degrees, and they all equal 360 here. So here we can add 108 and 120, so y plus 228 equals 360. Subtracting 228 from both sides, y would equal 132 degrees. 
And there you go. We used a couple of techniques for finding the sum of the interior angles of a regular shape and then used our knowledge of geometry to get our values for x and y.